So every day I come in to radio and I, I let everyone know just what the greatest album of all time is. It, it, every day, really. It really is. It honestly is every day. I just come in. I try to loop it into every single thing I can at least once. Just drill it inside our brains? Yes. And, you know, I people say they're getting tired of it, but I say, well, listen to the album. You just got to give it a try. Give like it, I did. Get, you, you did, Cole. Cole so, came in uh, the other day and said, came to me and said, hey, I listened to Pet Sounds. And I was like, oh, did you like it? I feel like it was pretty good, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I only listened to it one or two times all the way through, but mm. I'm still kind of figuring it out. I do like it right now, though. It's experimental, and I like it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'd say, what's your favorite song off Pet Sounds? I'm going to go with the basic, Wouldn't It Be Nice? Oh. But the more I listen to it, the more I'm kind of liking more songs. Yeah. So, give me a week. Mm, I'll give you I do. I like, I'd say my favorite is either Caroline No or um, Hold On To Your Ego. Mm-hmm. Hold on to your egos when I really like. But you know one that wasn't a Beach Boy song that wasn't on uh, Pet Sounds that could have been. There was a lot, really. There was a there's a lot of Beach Boy songs before and after. Well, yeah. eh, maybe not after. <laughs> kind of like after they made Smiley Smile and then you know Bri- Brian Wilson kind of like lost his mind. But uh, you know he's back and he's fine. But one song that was on Smiley Smile is Good Vibrations. In my opinion, their best song. So I love good vibrations. I have to agree with that. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, coming up next, it is Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys on 88.1 WNAS New Albany. Uh. So, Cole, we have they, we were talking about the Red Hot Chili Peppers mm-hmm. off air, and, and we kind of got to talking about how they're in strangely, like, a lot of like good movies. Yeah, they're like, not like cameos. They're just like in good yeah. movies. Uh, we don't know why, but we, they are. <laughs> I guess they're good actors because you brought up Flea. Yeah, Flea is in Baby Driver, one of my all-time favorite movies. Yeah, I love Baby Driver as well. It's unfortunate that uh, Kevin Spacey's in it. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, because you talked about that, and you were like, oh yeah, Flea was in Baby Driver. I was like, oh well, Anthony Kiedis was in Point Break. With Keanu Reeves. It's kind of impressive, really. And it is impressive that he got a, like, named role and everything. Yeah. He's, he's Tone. He's a surfer. Just, oh. and he's just in it. He's just like, sup, y'all, I'm here. And I'm totally not Anthony Kiedis of the Red Hot Chili Peppers right after freaking what's it called? Blood Sex Magic just came out. Yeah. And, like, the one of the probably most popular album up to that point. Okay, so I know you're all sitting at home laughing at us because you think that we think there's a Back to the Future 4. It's a little technical error. little technical error from... Toy Story. Our station manager. Yeah, from our people. station manager, our, a man we look up to. I know. like Texted us during while we, while we were on air and said, Back to the Future 4. 4. But I know what he meant. I know. He and meant he, Toy Story 4. Yeah, he meant Toy Story 4. He wasn't Toy Story 4. He was a TV announcer. Yeah. Of course, you'd never see him, but uh, also because it's animated, so you wouldn't yeah. see him anyways. But, uh, yeah. But you know what is coming out? Go on and talk about movies. Yeah. The Batman. I'm kind of excited for that. I'm also excited. I'm excited for, uh, you know, we kind of looked at the Christopher Nolan movies as like a super serious take on Batman. But I think it's going to be even more of a super serious take on Batman. I have a question, though. Yes. Have you seen the controversy where Robert Patterson's not taking on muscle mass and like all of that? For the movie, I've not seen that. I, I guess I mean, in Batman Begins, Christian Bale was a little chunky at the beginning, mm-hmm. and then by the end of it, he was super jacked. And I'm pretty sure it's not confirmed, but it's very highly speculated they were pumping him full of steroids. Really? Like they were just giving him steroids, so huh. he by the end of the movie, he'd like jacked because you know, like he's done training. He's mm-hmm. now Batman. Today we have a very special, I guess, thing. Yeah. In New Albany mm-hmm. going on today. We have the cross country bulldogs coming up to semi state. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, go. Running, yeah. Go dogs take state. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which I why don't we do that? I don't why know. don't we say that? At Trinity we'd always say Go Rocks take state. Mm-hmm. Why isn't Go Dogs Take State a thing? I'm gonna start saying that at the end of every radio shift, mm-hmm. Go Dogs Take State. I think it'll catch on. It has to catch on. It yeah. absolutely has to. Up next is I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash. I'm J B Deal in with Cole, Cole Johnson. Johnson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're listening to 88.1 WNAS New Albany.